Hello, welcome to Godalming College Maths Department. Uh, there are currently 10 teachers in Maths Department and I am one of them. And I will take you through this information booklet about A-level Maths and uh, A-level Further Maths. A-level Maths course is made of uh, pure and applied. Uh, so it is two thirds pure and one third applied. Uh, the applied part uh, is made of statistics and mechanics. After two years of uh, learning, you will sit all three exams after those two years and each exam lasts for two hours. Uh, while you're with us at college, you will have three lessons per week, four and a half hours per week of maths. Whereas if you study A-level further maths, um, that counts as two A-levels, so it will be double the content. Um, in A-level further maths, you will have at least half of uh, pure maths. The rest of the course is made up of further stats and further mechanics and even possible, possibly decision maths um, and that depends on student numbers, which, which of these units uh, we, we have. Um, so for A-level further maths, at the end of two year course, you will have seven exams in total. Uh, three are going to be for A-level maths and four are going to be uh, for core pure and uh, for those units of uh, further stats or further mechanics. All units are examined at the end of the course as they are with the normal uh, maths. If you are taking A-level maths, you will have uh, six lessons per week. Uh, and that means nine hours of maths uh, per week. How to choose which course is right for you? If you're going to get um, an eight or nine at GCSE maths, uh, if maths is one of your favorite subjects, uh, you absolutely love it and having nine hours of week um, is, is, is a brilliant thing, then absolutely go for um, a maths and further maths. If you're going to get at least a seven or even six and you're enjoying maths, you're enjoying the subject and the challenge of the subject. Uh, and then if in addition to that, you're looking at some uni courses uh, for which maths would be a good facilitating subject, uh, for example, architecture, medicine, business, geography, um, any sciences, really, if you're going into um, chemistry, biology or physics then yes, uh, maths A-level uh, would be a great choice for you. And if you are relating to, to the last line where uh, my parents say that I should do maths because it's a good subject, it is true, it is a good subject to have, uh, but please think carefully about whether or not um, it is you who wants to be studying maths. Um, ultimately, it has to be your choice um, uh, because you're going to be spending uh, two years uh, in maths classroom and it really needs to be subject you enjoy. So here are some frequently asked questions. Um, how many teachers will I have? So uh, typically you can have two teachers, one for pure, one for applied. Um, but in some cases there is one teacher that covers everything and then you see them uh, four and a half hours a week. So the lessons are um, uh, in duration of 90 minutes and if you are taking A-level maths you're going to have three weekly lessons, if you're taking further maths they're going to be six. Homework is set on a weekly basis um, so if you have two teachers, they will each set their own homework, one for pure, one for applied. If you have one teacher, he's going to be, or she is going to be setting uh, two homeworks per week. So you are expected to be spending um, a, a good amount of time, four or five hours per week, on a homework and any, any extra tasks that you set for yourself. 
So it's kind of similar amount of time that you would be spending in uh, the classroom. Is maths hard? Yes, but in a good way. It is a great subject to study. Um, it is fun. Uh, if you spend um, time outside uh, lessons um, for consolidating on daily or weekly basis, then you will be absolutely fine. And we do offer additional support outside of lessons, lots of additional support. Um, you have one-to-one -one with your teachers. Uh, we have drop-in sessions uh, at lunchtime where you can bring any questions from classwork or homework uh, that we can help you with. And also there are lots of resources on Godalming Online, uh, lots of PowerPoints uh, to, help, to help you with maths topics. The calculators that we recommend are the first one, uh, the Casio Classways, is recommended by the uh, exam board that we follow, which is at Excel. Um, and yes, it is available in the student shop for about £20. And a bigger calculator, slightly bigger um, and with, with more functions, uh, is the graphical calculator. Um, obviously, you can do graphs on it, but it has many other functions uh, and it's very useful for checking answers. Uh, so you would still be expected to show your working and to show the method. And then, of course, you can check the final answer by using uh, the calculator. So I'm now at the end and I'm going to give you two questions to um, solve, two problems to solve. Um, when you look at them at the first glance, they look quite complex because they are unusual. So a bit of a challenge here. But you have enough knowledge uh, from your GCSE maths to solve these problems. So um, in order to make sure that you um, have solved them correctly, or even if you just need to look at the answers, they are coming up. So here are the solutions. So the uh, solutions in the um, orange rectangles relate to the first question, and the ones in the blue rectangles uh, relate to the second question. So yes, you can look a little bit and then go back and continue solving um, and then finally come back to it and check the answers. This is it for today. Um, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you soon at Godalming College Maths Department.